Hey everyone, I am Dave Clark, I lead readiness for field service, and I'm here with Neha Jain, who is a product manager on the field service team who is focusing on field service inspections. Field service inspections are digital forms that technicians use to quickly and easily answer a list of questions as part of a work order. The list of questions can include safety protocols, pass and fail tests for a customer asset, an interview with a customer, or, or other audits and assessments performed before, during, or after a work order. And today, Neha is going to speak about a few recent updates to the inspections feature in field service. So, hey, Neha, thanks for joining, and please tell us about the uh, new features. Thanks, David. Great to be here today. So, in inspections, we have recently released a bunch of good enhancements, and there are more coming in early access. So, let's dive in and take a look at the upcoming features. Let's dive in and take a quick look. So let me create a new inspection. Let's take an example of a safety inspection. And I'll add a question on what lookup it is, what asset I'm going to use. So in entity lookup, we have as part of early access plan to release lookup filters as well so let me choose my entity as customer asset which is a bunch of workflows to choose from since it's a workflow inspection that i'm doing and then now i can if you see now the preview there are a bunch of assets present so let's go and filter to see just the relevant results so this is something that is coming in early access i can choose the filter condition so in this case i let me say account and i choose equal to fabricam so if i go back to the preview there are two workflows available for fabricam and i can choose one of those as the technician let's go ahead and add one more question. So matrix dynamic is a new control that we added back in November. And with this, you can create a grid of questions. Let's say we create a bunch of parameters for the workflow. And then I can go edit the advanced properties to specify what all parameters I want to capture. For the purpose of this demo, let's say I want to do a daily checklist kind of a thing. And then I can update this to say date. For the date control, you can choose between date, time, date, or time. So I'll say date. And then I go back. The second question can be about the lights status. So I will put it as a drop down and I'll say lights. And since this is a drop down, I can add my conditions of let's say working and non not working. So that's my drop down of the state of self lights. Next, I can note the temperature and I will create a number question for that. Let's rename the column to be temperature. And here you can even choose a date range for the number. So in case of temperature, the check for range can be added. And I want to add one more, which is text box. And let's say we are doing it for notes. And there can be uh, different kinds of notes that can be taken. Once I'm all done, I can even set the initial row count to more than once. By default, it is one. There can be more than one rows if you want. So this is how it would look in your preview. Beyond that, in early access, we have also added ability with the file upload control to capture photos directly and then add comments to the new 
attached files as well that we will see in the mobile app demo when I give that. And uh, one quick enhancement that I would like to talk about is the text box where we also have the capability to scan barcodes now. So in mobile app, you can directly scan the asset tags or barcodes using this option in the text box. So once you're all done, let me save it once. Yeah, and another interesting addition that we are doing for early access is the translation support or language support. For an inspection, you do not need to create multiple different inspections in different languages now. If you want to allow all of them to be attached to one single inspection, you can do that. For my demo environment right now, I have Turkish installed. So what I want to go ahead and do is choose Turkish in the translation tab and enter the Turkish strings for my inspection strings so that when my technician is using Turkish, he will see the Turkish strings instead of the English ones. And I will quickly demo that as well. So if you see in this translation experience, you can go ahead and Fish strings. And whatever strings have been supplied here would be available for the end user. If the strings are missing, then it would not be translated. It would show in the default language, which in this case is English. Um, before I move ahead to show a demo of how this all works, I do want to touch upon a couple more enhancements. One is the compactness support. So in this case, if you click on the title, you will see a bunch of additional properties at the bottom. First one says show or hide the title and description. By default, the title always shows. So if you see in the preview, the title is there, but if you toggle this off, the title is hidden. This is for smaller screens where you do not want to waste real estate in showing the titles. And the default layout is compact, uh, comfortable that we were just seeing. You can choose the layout to be compact. And as you see, it has reduced the gaps between the questions as well as it has moved the responses line to the question line itself. So this is good for screens where you want to fit more things on the screen like tablet screen. So other than the compactness options, another good thing is the export and import of JSON. This is very useful when you have long inspections you have created in one environment and you want to move them to the other environment. You can simply go say export to JSON. Let me open the file and show to you. So the JSON along with the translated strings is available for you in the next and in the other environment. You can go and simply say import from JSON and that will import the JSON file and create a draft inspection for you automatically. And then you can go update the title and go ahead from there. So these were the bunch of inspections enhancements that I wanted to share. Uh, let me go ahead and show how it would look like. So let's pick a work order. So I have a work order where I want to add this workflow safety inspection. Let me create a new service task. I've already created a task type. And I see my inspection questions. Let me save it. And since I'm now a Turkish user, I want to go ahead and change my language to Turkish. So as you can see, the strings in the screen for the Turkish technician would show in Turkish rather than English. Here's my inspection. 
OK, so these were the strings that were user supplied. The admin or the maker had added the strings for the questions and they are now reflecting for the technician as well. 